The arthropod-born virus or arbovirus represent a group of viruses transmitted through blood-feeding arthropods or insects. The most common arthropods to St. Lucia are ticks, fleas and mosquitoes. Familiar arboviruses to St. Lucia are dengue fever, chikungunya and zika. St. Lucia is currently seeking to update its data collection system, which would assist in monitoring the presence of the various arboviruses on island. Representatives of the Pan American Health Organization, PAHO, are on island accompanied by consultants Open Solutions for Health who are assisting with the process. Here is Peter Ricketts, CEO of Open Solutions for Health. So we, our mission has two objectives. The first one is the gathering of the requirements and then the development of a module to support data management of the arbovirus. And the second one is the integration of key indicators um, between the St. Lucia Health Information System, or better known as SLUIS, and, the, and that, will, that data would go into a dashboard on DHIS2, which would aid in um, quick decision making on those key indicators. St. Lucia has endured outbreaks of chikungunya, dengue fever, and Zika over the years. And while the island's data management system has played a great role in recovery, strengthening and updating is key. So take, for example, when you had chikungunya, rise of chikungunya, or um, any of these vector-borne illnesses, you need to be able to have a quick understanding um, of where are those breeding sites. And, and that brings in that brings in that geospatial aspect. So it's not just having that data saying we have X amount of traps or we have X amount of breeding sites, but understanding where those sites are geographically would help with resource planning, with, with um, response times, um, when you have to do control measures such as fogging and so on, just understanding what you have in your arsenal for um, addressing those various threats. The three-member team from Open Solutions for Health met with officials from the Ministry of Health on Monday before heading to the Department of Environmental Health. From the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs, Rajvaro Lawrence reporting.